Well, howdy everyone, Ax and Ronder here, and welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life, where we last left off. We just talked to a lot of people. I know, I know I keep saying that. I should really try to spice things up, because I always say, we talk to people, we talk to people. And specifically, we did Butterfly's quests, and we were able to learn different uh, stations, as you can say, for us to one day try out, like horse stables. We learned a little bit about Butch. We, um... Went to the library. Actually, we met this person in the library. My goodness, you're surrounded by books. How do you leave? Anyways, so we did that and uh, we decided, oh, hey, we're going to do another. Uh, we were able to do another portion of the story. And we also learned that we can't switch lives while doing this. So we're under a little bit of a predicament because I only have a dagger with me. And by now I should have at least uh, something else like a sword and shield, which really I should have done before I talked to Butterfly. But hey. You live and you learn. Oh, you again. Yep, it's Axe and his new best friend. Better get used to us, pal. Excuse me? I'm not your pal, you little fluttering, butterflying fly. I already told you that insects are not allowed at the royal court. If I must tell you again, I will be forced... You'll be forced to what? Get pompous and uptidy like all the red-faced um... Potsity? Someone in the castle has requested our help. Do you want to be responsible for getting our way? Your help? So you've been requested personally. Are you certain about that? Axon here got a letter requesting a personal presence. Yes. And it was written on Apple Pattern Stationery. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that notable to you? What? No, it, it means nothing. You mean nothing. You little scheming butterfly. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for your help. We'll go. We'll just go back home now and say you wouldn't let us in. No, 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 wait, why, that's not true in the least. I would never think of something, of doing such a thing. So you don't mind if we just take a look around? By all means, the castle was open to all subjects after all. And please remember that I said so. Hey, Axton, did you see the ministers react reacted when I told them about the stationery? Did that seem odd? Anyway, let's track down whoever wa it was who wrote the letter. We got some investigating to do. Uh, apparently so, yeah. Oh, look, that guy has a request for us. Uh, eh, we'll just keep going. We'll be back to help him out soon. Hey, this is the freaking throne room, isn't it? Uh-oh. My leech, with the utmost respect, what are you doing in temperament to imprisonment? And what are you doing is tantamount to insubordination, sir, mustache. I will not allow my daughter to run willy-nilly, helter-skelter, helter or pale-mail through the kingdom. There is simply no other way. What do you mean, no other way? You should read The Crucible of Snuggling. You may find it helpful in your career as a life master. She could at least be allowed to roam freely through the castle. You soft, squishy, maudlin fool. That is exactly how children control adults. You give them the castle, and they'll take the kingdom. That's that, oh, okay. Give them a shoe, and they'll take the pear. They'll take the pear. I mean, I, I, I would see. Give them an acorn, they'll take the oak. Give them a curd. Okay, Hughes, I get it. For the life of me, I don't know how a, sm a man as smart as you can be so sage, humble, and handsome. Yes, I know. Regardless of the king's opinion, it's final. That'll be all. Good day. No, really, sir, Mustang. You are dismissed. You mind your tone of yours, Hughes. Such a fine silver mustache that you wear. It would be a shame if you woke up one morning to find it gone. Now that's an insult right there, right there. Shaving someone's mustache. Uh, excuse me. Hi, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your follicle threats. <laughs> nice. We just had a question. What is the meaning of this frightening intrusion? Guards, quickly! Somebody hold me! <laughs> it's alright, sire. It's only talking butterfly and her silent companion. Did the, mis the minister let you in? Um, why, yes. He's very polite. Good guy. I knew that man had a weakness for winged insects. Well, if, his, if my minister deemed you worthy of entry, then I shall entertain your flapping. Stick your business. Pardon my impotence, King, uh, King Eric, for speaking so candidly. But don't you have time? But you don't have time for this. That Professor Hughes is where you're mistaken. When a talking butterfly appears in my court, I shall make the time, lest I fall prey to the prophecy. Wasn't there a talking butterfly prophecy? No, not ringing a bell. Well, someone should make one up. Uh, well, we got this letter. It asked us to come here to the castle. A letter on paper? Yes, on paper. It specifically asked for our help. And it was written on this cute apple stationery. Oh dear. Okay, so really, what is it? Was, 
What is it about this apple paper is anyone going to tell us? I just remember that I have a very important council meeting to attend. We have exit access. Okay, but just really quickly, if you could just tell us who might send this letter, we could... Is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> I believe it is indeed hot. I'll evaluate the room to be hot. Yes. My leech, I must return to my duties. And you too. Please do what you can. That's our future boss right there. Uh, yeah, sure. That's exactly what we'll do. Ahem. <laughs> yes? As he said, his majesty has meeting on cabbages or hay or whatever it was. You should go now. Well, we can certainly take a hint. Thank you for your time, your majesty. Goodbye. Let's go, Axton. Everyone here is freaked out when we mention the stationery. Something is up. Who knows something so cute could mean could make these adults flip out like that. Let's go talk to the minister and see if we can get some information out of him. Hmm. Sure, I, I guess, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> Someone hold me. <laughs> it is kind of getting weird, isn't it? Apple stationery. It's just an apple with a picture on it. I wonder what's the big deal. Well, I hope you found what you're looking for. Actually, we didn't. Something strange happens whenever we mention the apple stationery. Yes, that is quite something. Can you tell us what's that all about? Or are you just going to jump and start sweating and give us a bunch of lame excuses too? It seems you have de touched a nerve here in the castle. Mind if I ask any if you met anyone of note on your travels recently? Anyone of note? I don't know. I mean, we've met quite a few characters since we teamed up. Perhaps a youth, a young boy wearing a blue cap. The Gerb boy, yes, actually, we did meet him. He helped us out earlier, but took off like like his pants were on fire. Just as I thought. You thought his pants were on fire, Minister? No, that's not what I thought. Perhaps you can help me with something, Paladin. I'm in need of someone with your unique, unique abilities. It is something that perplexed me for a long time. It is also a closely guarded secret of the kingdom. Come a bit closer. The walls have ears. I have ears, too. My finger points. What is it, sir? I promise that I'll never tell a secret unless someone really needs to know it. Yes, I know I can count on you. Now picture in your mind an apple. I want I want to help this apple. Two worms block two paths, one to the left and one to the right. These paths lead to the apple. So if one path is right and the other path is left, how many apples do you have? I'm sorry, sir. Can you repeat that? Why, yes, of course. It would be my pleasure. I'll reward, I'll reward it to help you out. Take your time. Two worms block two paths. These worms are trying to guard these paths leading to the apple. One path is right, and the other path is not right. In fact, it's left. How long will it take to sneak by the worms and be on your way to helping the apple? Oh, are you guys talking about helping apples? Why, yes, we are. Come closer, pal, and I'm in need of your services in a very secretive manner. But sir, you told me not to leave my post here. Guarding the super important right corridor. Never mind that. The right corridor is the correct corridor, and the right will be just fine. I think the minister is trying to tell us something in his oh-so-subtle way accent. It's kind of fun seeing him squirm with really trying to be clever. So we just let him go on like this? I mean, we can. We can listen to him squander, but the right corridor. That's where he wants us to go, so I guess that's what we head off to. Ooh, this is nice. So this is just grass. I want, I, so was that j entire area just the castle and this is the court? Ooh, okay, this is the courtyard. Well, there's a queen right there. I don't think we're supposed to talk to the queen. I don't think you're supposed to sneak around. I think you're just... Okay. I don't know if they say anything if you sneak around. I'm gonna get this. Yoink! Smiley flower. Did you hear that? It breaks my heart, you know. The sound of Princess Laura crying. It's like little drops of sad, of sad water falling on... Nice. She's usually such a happy little thing. What's going on now? She's been grounded to her room. She can't go outside. She can't even roam the castle. Oh man, for someone who has such a big nature lover like her, this must be awful. Poor kid. Hey guys, what's up? What you chatting about? Well, we're just saying how it's sad makes us see... Wait, who are you? What are you doing here? This is the Princess Laura's private chamber. It's strictly off limits to the public. Why did the king lock up the princess up? Why did the <laughs> He did no such thing. And even if he did, we didn't hear it from us. We are simply guarding the Princess Laura's bedchamber as a pre precaution against any mean fish. Psst, Axon. Why would the princess need guards to keep her safe inside her room? Something's off. Let's ask around and see if we can find a way to get inside there. It looks like our apple does need help. Oh, I'm guessing we're going to need to talk to the queen, huh? And I'm right. 
Oh dear, it's just such a needless fuss. Excuse me, Queen Ophelia. Oh my, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't realize you were standing and flapping there. I trust your new life is working out well, yes? How may I help you, dear ones? Er, well, I'm not quite sure how to say this, but I guess I'll just come, out right, come right out of it. Someone wrote us a letter asking for help. The request was written on Apple Stationery. Oh? Of course, I shouldn't be too surprised. Well, at least you didn't jump out of your skin. So, do you think you can help us? Help the Apple? I suppose the guards my husband placed at the at Princess Laura's door gave you some trouble. Yeah, they weren't too much help, but I understand. I, but I understand. I mean, they're just doing their jobs. Well, I would never wink go against my husband's wishes. Wink, but Laura needs my help. Or, but Laura may need a wink snack. Uh, I'm sorry, I was reading all that funny. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. As you can see, I'm terribly busy right now. Perhaps you can take something to her. She may not accept it from me, but perhaps if you give her freshly baked apple pie. Rosemary, oh Rosemary, if you could. Yes, my queen, how may I be of service? Do be dear and fetch me that special item you were discussing earlier. It obtained an apple pie. Oof, I haven't had apple pie in a long time. Are you sure you want us to be the ones to perform this uh, really important task? Feel free to play royal pie eater and have a nibble. My Castilian apple pies are divine. But please go on while it's still hot. Yes, your majesty, right away. You can count on us to deliver the pie 100 feet from here. It's 100 feet from here, really? Wow, I'm moving freaking fast and... Oh, thinking about apple pie right now. Oh my goodness, apple pie was some ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Ooh. It's 2.46 in the morning and I'm making myself hungry. Fantastic. I'm going to be thinking of apple pie all night. Alright, make your way. We got a special delivery for Princess Laura. We didn't hear anything about no deliveries, special or ordinary. What's that smell? Is that a Castilian apple pie? Did you get that from the queen? Sure did, and all your gra uh, gabbing is making it cold, so, might, so you might want to let us in. Nobody gets through. We have our orders and ain't no big goods or bait bad gonna change that. Okay, it smells so good. I don't know how much longer I can stand it. Oh, it does smell good. It's kind of making me crazy, but if we eat it, the queen is going to get so mad at us. Oh, just go. You, you got to get that pie out of here before I mash my face in it. We salute you, bearer of flaky, succulent, all-powerful yumminess. Please go before we are forced to break our oath to remain vigilant in the face of hot pie. You know, I, I, I completely understand how those guys feel. Apple pie, especially with vanilla ice cream, fantastic. fan freaking tastic Axton, you got my letter and you made it past the guards. I can't believe it. And who are you? It's an honor to meet you, Princess Laura. You two, why do you two smell like my mother's apple pie? Hand it over the apple pie. You got, you got us. We are on our way. It was the only way we could get past the guards. I can't believe they locked you in here. What can we do for you? Axton and I are here to. Wait a second. How do you know Axton's name? Oh ho ho! I was wondering if you caught that. This isn't the first time we met, little butterfly. It isn't. Excuse me. Maybe this will help. Close your eyes. <gasps> it's the girl boy. Ta-da! It's the girl boy. <laughs> nice. Yup, it's me. I almost gave my, myself away out there on the east grassy plains, huh? I think now that I see why you needed a disguise to go out, Princess. Just call me Laura. I don't want everyone to be called me Princess again. Oh, well, if you're sure, Laura. Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's so simple. Alright, now that you two are here, let's get on with putting my escape plan into effect. Wait, 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 your escape plan from the castle? Why are they so serious about keeping you here? It's my father's doing. Why would the king do something like that? It's that vile Professor Hughes. He just has it in for me and convinced my father do so, to do this. But Hugh, why would Hughes have against you? He knows that I'm the only one who can calm the Nap Dragon, but I won't do it for him. The Nap Dragon is one of the castle's old guardians. Oh, really? It's like an, an it's an ancient red dragon, and it can just as fearsome as it can be sleepy. That's because Butterfly was saying, wouldn't it be great if we see a dragon? Yeah, yeah, everything she says like that, you chances are we're gonna see one. Only one who is true of heart, mind, and soul may capture the nap dragon in its true battle. So legend says, I think Hughes is sending out pounds to slay it. Evil bumbling stupid paladins. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be soon. As long as it's not provoked, the nap dragon is just a sweet tempered beast. It does no harm. And that rotten old Hughes He's been trying to put together a paladin army capable of capturing the Napdragon. Why would he do that? I can't be sure. But I think he sees the Napdragon as just another piece of material for his stupid research. You never know what's going on with him. Lately, he's been obsessed with researching Doomstones. It seems like every time we see Hughes, it has something to do with one of those Doomstones. 
Yes, the Doomstones are a great concern and they, there have been disturbing rumors. See, Hughes said that there was a report or two or three that an Napdragon attacked someone. I told my father that it was impossible. If there was an attack, the Napdragon must have been provoked. My father believed Hughes over me. That's what's going on. He just wants me out of the way. Once that's done, no one will be able to. Well, no one will left be. No one will be left to protect the Navdragon. So they lock me up in here, just like they're going to lock up that poor thing. I'm sorry. I hate my life. I hate my father. I hate the castle. I hate doing taxes. I hate being a stupid princess. <laughs> Why can't everybody just let me be? I just want to get out of here. So you really want to escape the castle, huh? Let me see what we can do. Really? You help me? Well, we're here, aren't we? Thank you so much. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Think nothing of it. We'll just get to work on busting you out of this place. Laura? What is it? <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just that Father doesn't care about me at all. Sniff. Why would you say that? Just forget it. I'm done feeling sorry for myself. It's time for less whining and more action. That's the spirit. By the way, where did you get that blue cap? Looks sharp on you. Thanks, but let's cut to the chit chat, butterfly. It's time we talked some tactics. We're on the top of the floor and we need a way down. And I got a lantern, some flowers, and a nice, set, a nice tea set. I don't know how much any of that is going to help out us. How about a ladder? A ladder? Perfect. Let me know when you find one. Father keeps one up here somewhere. He's paranoid about disaster preparedness. Don't be afraid to poke around. It must be up here somewhere. Check all the rooms at the castle. We're on it. Thanks. Don't let me down or let or do let me down once you find the ladder. Oh my goodness. I spoke so fast I got a fr I'm lightheaded. Oh, that does not feel good. Give me a moment. Oof. Okay. Oof. Okay, what are we doing? Alright, we're looking for a ladder. Oh, that's right, we're supposed to go into a room. I was like... I was like, uh, where's the little red arrow that tells us where to go? King Eric's Chambers. Oh, so this is the king's house. Or the room. Lots of books lined up here. The naughty little king, the little king and me, and the little king has donkey ears. There's more. The Hero and the Sultan, How to Train Your Dog, An Illustrated Guide to Ruling, The Mad Professor. Wave your own rope ladder, a hundred apple pies, the bacon chair. Hey, wave your own rope ladder. That's not bad to know. I really shouldn't be walking around here, especially because this is the king's private quarters. A rope ladder was hidden under the bed. Well, never mind then. I guess this was the place to go. Obtain rope ladder. Nice. I thought we were going to make one. Piece of cake or rope. Let's get back to Laura. I don't know, I want to keep looking around this place. The royal toilet. That is the biggest treasure chest I have ever seen. Was that me talking? That's the first time I think I ever spoke. Besides my inner log monologue. Which I guess this is my inner monologue. Could you imagine if that's how this plays off? Like I'm talking to myself in my head. That's how it works. That's why I'm always silent, because I'm doing a lot of talking in my head. Ooh. Look what we found. I knew it. Good work. It feels pretty sturdy. Hand it over rope ladder. Wonderful. This will do, this will do just fine, I think. Come on, let's get over this. Let's get over this window. But aren't these guards stationed down here below? Your windows too? I got that covered, worry not. Why am I suddenly worried? Oh wow, secret entrance. I believe they sing goes, what does, what does one think when reflecting upon these, those apples? I, uh, what? I have, I don't, never heard that, but cool, secret entrance. This is amazing, you got your own secret hideout back here. Yeah, apparently so. I never showed this room to anyone before. Do you want to read some of my poetry? Uh, well, of course, but shouldn't we get going right now? And maybe we can do that later. You're right, we got work to do. Feel free to look around while I set this up. Where did you get all this cool stuff? Oh, here and there. It's all stuff Father and I picked up on our adventures. Your father took you on adventures? The same father who freaked out about you going outside? So I'm not the only one who sees the contradictions? Good. Father used to take me all around the castle. Around Castell. We go to climbing on Mount Snow Peak. It was so much fun. And then, I don't know what happened. One day, he was just too busy for me. The adventures just stopped. But I wasn't going to let them keep going from out. <laughs> but I realized it should be easier to move around the cast, uh, castle if I had some sort of disguise. And I must say, going around with the two of you was more fun than I had quite some time. It was fun, wasn't it? We should name our adventures. That would be the Grassy Plains Caper. I haven't laughed this hard in a while. Those two obvious buffoons are quite a pair. Are we really that bad? Oh, you mean Pierre and Butch? Yeah, those two are good to have around if you're feeling down. 
Perhaps we can dress them in, in motley and get them jobs at the royal court. Anyway, see this window here? That's our way out. Very nice. Help me with this ladder stabilized. Help me with this... Yeah, you know what I mean. But how did you do that? Where are you hanging it from? Perfect. Hang on, Nap Dragon. Nap Dragon, we're on our way. Laura joined your party. Nice. Looks like we got more friends who help us on our way. Then go down the ladder? Yes, we need to get out of this castle. So, I think we have... Okay, cool, we just have enough... Oh, okay, we made it, nice work. Is this how you usually sneak out of the castle? It is, though. Last time Hughes saw me, but I don't think he knew how to get out, how I got out. I said, shake for the grassy plains. I want to be certain we aren't being followed. Where are we? Oh, hey! Whoa, wait a minute. How did we get out of here? I don't think about it too much. Let's just keep going. All right. We got, we got plenty of time. Six minutes <laughs> to get to the area we need to go to. I want to show off the new region. Um, I'm really hoping it's not where I think it is. Because if it is, then I think we're in a little bit of trouble. Because that's a little bit of an advanced place. But if it's not, and it's a different region, I think we're going to be fine. I'm not too sure. We're going to find out when we get there. Oh my goodness. Hopefully there's a safe spot there. I should have saved in that one little spot, but I was like, no, nope. no, nope. no, we won't save yet. Wait a moment, before we go any further, there's something I must ask you. What is it? How did you manage to get into my chamber back at the castle? And why did you just shove an apple pie in my face as soon as it showed up? It was pretty difficult to get past your guards until someone helped us set off a little weakness in those guards. If you know what I mean, you got past the guards because you had a pie. We need a more rigorous hiring process. <laughs> I mean, I would feel uh, slightly concerned too if like, oh never mind. So the Nap Dragon has a nest on Mount Snow Peak. If we go northeast here, we'll find a paladin camp at the base of the mountain. It's just beyond the camp. Think you ready? Let's do it. I can't wait to the, see the mountain where the Nap Dragon lives. The, mount, the mountain is tall and the view is gorgeous, but the mountain monsters can be a handful, so let's be careful. Got it. Oh, don't worry. We're going to be running like a mother trucker throughout the entire thing. Okay, uh, like I was saying, like, yeah, I feel, I'll feel a little uncomfortable too if, like, you're the, <laughs> your so-called security got distracted because someone saw some pie. Who are you? Merchant? Has woken the thing is destroying my business. Oh, wow. So where's, oh, avoid them at all costs. Hey, look. Nap dragon seems to have disappeared from the grassy plains. Be very careful. Interesting. So it looks like everybody's up in... Whoa, sand lizards. Oh man, I really wish I can tackle these guys. But like, I'm not really prepared to do anything of that sort yet. <gasps> Yoink! Ha ha ha, I took your roast beef. You will now starve. <laughs> uh, like, dong. Oh wow. Yeah, this is the new region I was telling you guys about. Oh, I love the music here, it's so cool. The Nap Dragon is often seen on top of the summit. Unfortunately, the summit is blocked off. It's a way to keep people from disturbing the Nap Dragon. So how do we get up there? Well, Mount Snow Peak has a, it has a, how should I say this, custodian of sorts. Why does a mountain have a janitor? No, it's some someone who takes care of things up here. He's called the Indebutable Crown Champion. He's a bit eccentric, just in case you haven't already figured out from his name. But he's a big softy. I think he'll help us. Let's go on our lookout for a little house with a red roof just beyond the waterfall. Hmm. Look for the in in the <laughs> crown champions key. Oh, beware the chicken. Ooh, a new tree for us to cut too. Chickens and trees. Chickens and trees. <laughs> what is this? this is buffalo? Are you? Oh, okay, you're cool. I think like uh, a lot of these animals we can eventually hunt. Ooh, there's a volcano there too. I know that's where you can great place to get some. Ores. You can see there's monsters in the distance. Well, I don't want to mess with those guys right now. Yeah, welcome to the new region, everyone. This is where, like, things are just going to be... S oh, what's this? Oh, a bounty clerk. Perfect. I think I may stay here and start farming some stuff so I can get some decent equipment because we are still running around with our blacksmith suit and that's not really good for defense. But... I think we'll save that 
after we get this plateau honey. And we'll save that for the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. We did a lot today. We explored the castle. We were able to get the princess out of the castle. If only Mario was that fast. <laughs> and we were able to... We came across the house of... Or the champion's house. Curious to see what the champion's all about. And see what... How uh, he can help us out with the snapdragon problem. Uh, I don't know what to expect really because... Um, I don't remember if we have to fight anything and if we do we're kind of in a pickle but we'll save that for future episodes we got to get more materials we got to get it soon so thank you guys for watching i hope you had a wonderful time if you're new to the channel uh consider subscribing if you like this video give it a good like or something i don't know anyways have a good time see you all later Bye bye